It's Tuesday's Independent Lewis telling us why you've never had a day off. Is this about fat people? Is this the one we're doing? It's always about fat people. Obese workers. No, I wasn't always fat, but I was fat for about five, five years. Obese workers in Europe are far more likely to take time off six, study five. This is Shock. Like, <laughs> shock, exactly. We all know this. First of all, first of all, food, the food that people are eating causes sickness. It makes people sick by get, making them fat. So if you're going to get fat, you're going to get sick. If you're going to get sick, you're going to take time off. So I don't even know why this is news. This is a non-story. We know. That they, what they're trying to do is they're trying to present it is is like there's fat people and there's bad food, but the rest of the food they're eating is okay. So the, those people just eat. I don't bad. think they really talk about that. It seems to be more that people are calling awareness to the impact on our society, the, the millions of pounds this is costing us, not just the health services, NHS, in our case, nineteen uh, is it nineteen million or nineteen billion. Billion. Billion, yeah, yeah, and then the, the, there's also like another eighty billion, uh, just from loss of earnings. Yeah, yeah but why are they the saying economy? that? Well, because, because they'd like us to be thin and work well, ask harder. him. Ask him the question. Well, no, why are they saying that? It's productivity, isn't it? If you want to get productivity up, start by having large people who stay at home. You know, they struggle to get out the front door for so many reasons. With one of them, but is uh, they, you know, they, they get ill, they stay ill for longer as well. They're not only more likely to take time off, more likely to spend longer sitting around watching daytime TV. And but answer Josh's question. He had a very good question for you. Why is why is this in the Independent, which is a newspaper? There's so because instead of just talking about the health cost, they're talking about the economic cost. Yeah, but why do they care about this? Why do they care about the economy? Yeah. It's a really good question, that. Yeah. So That's a really is, good well, question. Well, well, I mean, this is a European uh, study. Uh, there's the European Congress on Obesity, which is taking place in Venice. It's got fantastic nibbles. <laughs> um, <laughs> lots of celery sticks, I imagine. No, they're Christians. There's no food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why they're wondering why people are fat. But do you think that there's any of this, uh, your no normal thing, Steve, where you go on about, like, there's not the cause and the effect and the mixing oh, up. Oh, correlation versus yeah. causation. Uh, no, because I think, look, I've spent, I'm, I'm the largest one on the panel. I can speak from the, for the fat people. When my weight goes down and when I'm bigger, it is just harder to do anything. It's easier to be, uh, have your self-esteem and energy absolutely thwarted when you can't even fit into your trousers. So, of course, you stay at home, you just, you get weaker. Do you think, uh, before we quickly move on, Steve, and I'd like you to ask Lewis as well, Thank you. do you think people will start getting angry towards obese people to say, like, you're the, the cost to our economy, the cost to... Uh, health services. Do you think that there's a chance of this kind of no. there some, being some kind of backlash? The normal pushback on smoking is how much duty you pay. So as a fat person, I'll say, do you know how much, how, how much VAT I pay on my snacks? I'm keeping this nation afloat, actually. Thank you very much. What do you think, Lewis? I think that's an interesting point. I hadn't thought about that. Are people getting angry at fat people? I'm getting less angry at fat people because I see just how much food is around. It's not like, it's almost not. When I was fat, I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm doing a bad thing. I don't, I'm not angry at fat people. But once you tell a fat person you do not need to be fat, and forget about this Ozempic, I'm just saying the kind of food you're eating, you do not need to be fat.